Hello. I made a video two years ago and this is the second video or as I like to call it my second first video because I feel like I'm restarting. So, so hi, I'm Beth. Thank you for watching. I was thinking and thinking and thinking and overthinking what my video should be to to get myself back here onto YouTube. And what I figured out was that I was overthinking. But so here I am doing this right now in my basement, talking to my wall, talking to you, I'm not just talking to a wall. Someone will watch this, I hope, and comment and tell me that they appreciate my efforts. I don't necessarily feel like this channel is going to start off with me teaching things, but I just want to document what I'm doing, document different ideas I have. And also I have a lot of things that I need to make for my home that I just want to decorate my walls. I want to make for my kids to play with. So I think I'm just going to record myself making things. I think it would be interesting. Maybe you'll think it's interesting too. So that's what's happening tonight. Let me introduce you to Ginevra. This is Ginevra. Ginevra and I, uh, we met, did we meet? No, I made her at a Maureen Carlson workshop. Um, her hair's a little wild. She was my class project. So she's not perfect, didn't expect her to be. I was very excited to be able to finish her in class. My classmates were gracious and let me bring my baby with me to a full two day workshop. She was actually really, really well behaved. I, um, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, I knew she'd be great, but I really appreciated that Maureen and my fellow friends at the Chicago Area Palmer Clay Guild trusted that Mae Vopel would behave. And she did, like a champ. And I got to make Ginevra. So while she is not finished perfectly, like, I would have loved to have put more time into her hands. But she has hands, and that's what's important. She's done. Yeah. Here's Ginevra. She's meant to be flying through the sky. And I think she will be fun wall piece. Now, she's going to be flying through the sky. Let's line her up here. Uh, she's going to be over here. I imagine she's going to have a whole bunch of balloons over here. And she's grasping them. The strings with her hands and then I'm going to paint a background on um, and make her a full a full art piece and make a sky so tonight we're keeping it simple we are going to make Ginevra some balloons and I have here dun, 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 dun. So this is the extra clay I have for my workshop. You see, there's her sleeves. And I'm gonna use this to make the balloons because then it'll match her. All the primaries will be in the same family. All right, we have entered time-lapse mode. I wanted to take this opportunity to just talk more about what I'm doing with this channel. And I didn't think you needed me to explain the balloon making process because it's just a lot of rolling clay. These are the beautiful colors from the class. It was, um, though, those are going to be the balloons. It was, a, it was such a great class. I, I'm really excited to have this on my wall soon so that I can, it just makes me happy to see. It reminds me of the good weekend I had with Maureen and all of my friends from my guild. It reminds me of how happy my kids were to see the doll that I made. She came home, she was bald. I didn't finish the hair in class, but they got to play with her and they were so giddy. Just, just playing and having fun, even though they broke her a little bit. I had to keep rescuing her so they didn't break her too much. 
I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing this done. I've been imagining it for, I guess, going on two months now since the workshop. And it is, it is just getting bigger and bigger in my head. So I have to finish it. Otherwise, it'll be impossible to finish because I just have too many ideas for it. So that's, that's where I'm going with these balloons here. As far as my channel... I am trying to work this into my life and my my current um, my current living situation. Does that is that I don't I don't know how to put it. I I have a lot of kids at home all the time. We are homeschoolers, so I'm not alone during the day to fit this in at all. I have four kids that require my daily attention for uh for their well-being there's two more older ones and they are um they're let's just say they're independent because they just need me to worry about them most of the time um okay maybe they don't need it but i do i worry about them whenever i have a free moment um here's my hands making more balloons so this channel is going to be me doing my best to get creative time in my studio and I have lofty ambitions I really do I want to make I want to make art I want to show what art shows I want to do so many things that would go along with that I want to um, enter jury shows maybe art competition I don't know I have things in my head that have to come out into an actual physical art art piece of art I guess something I want to make I want to make things and I I'm just going to document it here so I'm not going to say there won't be tutorials I'm not going to say I won't teach along the way because that is some of what I want to do but I just don't know when I'm going to do that right now what's important to me is studio time and what's also important is making the videos because I love making videos I've been doing them since I was a kid just privately or for school projects and and this is something that's another creative outlet for me and also really fun so I am trying to incorporate it all together and make videos to share with you come to the end here I hope you'll stick around um there's my balloons. They're about to go in the oven. And I'm about to pop back on the screen with my face. So I'll talk to you there. Bye. So this is just going to be part one of finishing Ginevra. I'm going to get these in the oven. And I won't have a finished product to film tonight. But I think this is a good place to stop. I mean, you could watch me put them into the oven. But that would involve moving a camera. If you like this so far and you trust that I'm going to keep going, go ahead, click that like button and subscribe and comment and just say hi. I'm dipping my toe back in the waters of YouTube, so I'd appreciate any support that you have to share. Um, I have not worked out my sign off, so I'm just going to say Good night. Goodbye. Maybe it's not night right now. So long. Farewell. <sighs> All right. That's the end. Okay. Bye.